when you start with Sukkot, you should start, I think, with nature. We usually think of like Tu B'Shvat as being like the main nature holiday in Judaism, but Sukkot is much even, even more rich in terms of its connections and symbolism. Um, first of all, it falls on the, it's a harvest holiday falling on the full moon, um, and it's the full moon after the, uh, closest to the fall, uh, the fall equinox, so it connects the, the solar and the lunar uh, calendars. But uh, even more so, um, you know, we, we build an entire alternative structure. Um, a, and, you know, if you, if you do it, as we say, right? if you really fulfill the mitzvah uh, to the ultimate, then you're supposed to actually live. You move out there, you sleep in the sukkah, you eat your meals there. And um, a very non-religious but outdoorsy uh, non-Jewish friend of mine from the state said, gosh, any religious tradition that as a... As a as an imperative, as a commandment, has you sleep outside underneath the stars for a week a year, you know, can't be all bad. So uh, <laughs> almost every single holiday in the Jewish calendar has a deep connection to nature, which is a pretty amazing thing because if you think about it for quite a, quite a while, for the 2,000 years of diaspora, um, we haven't really been seen or seen ourselves as a very sort of nature-based people. Um, but the calendar itself manages to, to keep those connections, uh, especially when you see, like in Jerusalem, the ultra-Orthodox communities, you know, um, people who are pretty bookish, you would say, right? Living inside in the yeshivot, the Betahim Midrash. Suddenly they become expert botanists as to, you know, what the ultimate ideal uh, etrog is or how, you know, what, how the lulav should be structured in order to fill the mitzvah. It really shows the way of how, what, what a relationship with the natural world should be like because um, if uh, there are very specific rules about how to build the sukkah, particularly, not even so much the walls, but the roof, the schach, the, uh, the thatched part, because um, on the one hand, it's supposed to be thick enough dense enough to protect us from uh, like the the hot sun here in you know the Mediterranean climb right there the, the, sh the shade has to be more than the sun in, in the middle of the day but it can't be so dense that we're completely cut off you have to be able to see the stars at night so it's kind of an interesting metaphor that on the one hand we have to be uh, protected from the natural elements like any shelter uh, should provide um, but we can't be isolated or insulated from them you have to be open to some kind of interaction, some connection. Yeah, I think our lives in many ways are, are far too insulated from, from the natural world that we take this, uh, you know, wanting to live uh, in modern Western technological comfort uh, to such a degree that we've lost, I think, a day-to-day -day connection with nature. Bye -bye.